Welcome to MES e-learning channel. In this uh, session, we are continuing with drama in education. And uh, in this session, we will be seeing about the medieval uh, times drama, the Elizabethan stage, etc. Now, uh, hundreds of years after the first ever creation of tragedy and comedy, medieval drama brought about something new to the theatre. It moved away from the older styles and it started creating something new. And around this time, Christianity also became quite popular. And uh, the Christian leaders were not very happy with the theater and drama, initially at least. But later on, they found that it had a profound effect on the masses. So they started putting in biblical uh, themes into the drama. And uh, it started, drama started being viewed by people almost everywhere, even in smaller villages and places. And even churches became a place where they could, uh, you know, enact these dramas. So drama became quite popular around this time. And more and more people started viewing drama. And uh, around this time, the Elizabethan uh, drama period developed. As you can see in this picture, you know, those elaborate costumes. And uh, if you will, uh, you know, if you watch clear, uh, carefully, you will understand that this is a Shakespearean play. So especially Shakespeare at that time was very popular. He was, suppo uh, he was supported by the royalty, like the kings and queens and all. And even the common people, they enjoyed these uh, themes. And uh, during those times, uh, this um, Elizabethan time, especially Shakespeare, uh, he uh, gave a all rounded, a rounded uh, feature of the um, drama. For example, it was not purely comedy or purely tragedy like that. So it, the acting was more uh, realistic. It was according to the times. But at the same time, he gave new elements and made very interesting, uh, you know, display of uh, artistic talents in different ways. And uh, thus, drama became very popular at that time. Now, in the 18th and 19th century, uh, we see that uh, the society at that time was very divided. Uh, see, like in India, we have the caste system there. They have the class system, which was mostly like noblemen, peasants, workers, etc. And uh, most of the playwrights of this time, they brought out these elements in their drama. They brought out the whatever was happening in the society at that time. And this was also the time where they brought out, like, you know, the war between the gender, the men and women outwitting each other. These kind of plays were also very popular at that time. So slowly the Shakespearean dramas phased out and there are more of, uh, you know, themes related to people's lives in the, uh, you know, common man's life. All this started being, uh, becoming more and more dominant. And there were famous writers like Faust and Johann Wolfgang. They were very popular in uh, writing this type of uh, uh, drama, which was influenced by the period, the society at that particular time. And in the 19th century, uh, the Romanticism in the Western Europe, that, uh, uh, you know, the, it developed. And the theatrical culture of Europe and United States uh, they were more uh, 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 they were more leaning towards a romantic melodrama type of uh, uh, place. So the plays of scribe, swadu, then farces of uh, Feidu, problems uh, and uh, plays related to naturalism and uh, uh, realism. These were the type of uh, plays that came out at that time. And also, uh, you know, the famous uh, George Bernard Shaw. Um, he was a master in realism. And he is especially known for his support for women's rights and socialism. So he, his plays were also very popular and famous at that time. Now the modern drama. Now modern drama is what we would call the plays that emerged from the 20th century onwards. This developed due to further experimentations. And in these dramas, music was an important part. 
So the drama was much more realistic and increasingly popular. So they, you know, now it has moved from the initial stages of the, you know, where drama was born. It became mo much more realistic in terms of uh, the content, and uh, and and also uh, this was also the time that uh, from the realistic there was a movement towards the symbolic development. That is symbolism in dramas. So that was also becoming popular. Now symbolism means like see in movies you have seen symbolism. You want to show love. What are the symbols that you show uh, like uh, uh, red color or heart or something like that. So here symbolist movement was something that spiritual and more higher thinking, uh, higher values were um, espoused. Uh, not in a realistic term but using symbols and uh, things like that, where people had to imagine, use their imagination to understand what the drama was also about. So symbolist moment, especially in France, it became very popular. And where, you know, dreamlike sequences and all this were very popular at that time. Especially works of Chekhov and Isben are examples of strong symbolist dramas. So expressionist moment also, uh, uh, was another thing that emerged at this time. Expressionist moment uh, looked into the themes of the darker <clears throat> and inner feelings of human beings, the you know the darker side of the human beings which we do not express. So on the outer side, the human being looked like a normal sweet person, but what are the internal conflicts that go on? So looking on those psychological factors, internal conflicts, etc. And uh, other forms of theater that was pioneered at this time was uh, by Bertolt Bursch in Germany. And uh, the, these uh, play, uh, playwrights, they did not want the actors to be the main uh, the thing in the drama. They wanted to take away the importance of the actors and place more importance on the theme of the uh, drama. So there was a lot of experiments happening at that time. And uh, again, a language started becoming more and more important. How language is used, how la uh, dialogue is used, especially by uh, uh, Tom Shepard. He was very famous for that. The use of language in a very, um, you know, in a, uh, in a very precise manner to bring out the essence and the theme, etc. And uh, the, there was a lot of experimentation also that was happening uh, at this time. Now, uh, the 21st century uh, drama, now uh, the present day drama, you could say. Uh, there are many playwrights and there are many, uh, you know, uh, you could say, uh, many uh, influences of uh, on this drama at this time. So, the, there are stage, uh, stages where classical plays are being played. Then there is musical uh, drama, which is still very popular here. And again, fantasy dramas are also a part of this uh, modern dramas. So uh, in a way, because of the influence of television and other things, um, the realistic drama, is, uh, what is that, Real, uh, realistic uh, TV shows are there. Uh, similarly, there is realistic drama is also there. And then there is a variety of type of dramas. There are, uh, what is that, uh, where uh, the themes are played out only in the form of, uh, you know, dance, or it is played out in the form of silent um, uh, representations or even monologues. So the variety of different dramas uh, also mean there is, uh, it has given a room for more different types of acting and um, again the experimentations continue uh, throughout. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this session uh, students. Uh, we will see in the next session. Thank you.